I see there's been some discussion on TDO Clinical about cameras and all the different cameras people are using. So this is what we're using. We've, we've used it for a long time. The Canon 6D camera is sitting on our microscope. You'll notice it has two connections, one an HDMI cable and two a USB cable. One is for video output to two monitors. The other goes to the computer on the back of my cart that allows Joy to control the camera through the USB port. So you run these wires up through the housing of the microscope. There you can see the white cable is connected to the computer on the back of our cart. The HDMI goes to a splitter where there is one monitor behind Joy that you can see there that I can see. And then there's another mirror behind my back that the surgical assistant is looking at uh, during surgical procedures. So the HDMI goes to two monitors through a splitter coming out of the camera. And her left hand looks down, positions it correctly, and now she's ready to take pictures. She grabs the mouse and you can see what she's doing with her eyes. Notice her arm. It's completely relaxed. Looking at her eyes, she's able to look through the microscope and at the monitor to acquire the picture. Notice where her right hand is on the mouse, ready to take a picture. So the ergonomic placement of the monitor is very important. If she has to turn her head, then this gets much, much more difficult. And there's, she just took one picture and now she's going to take a whole series of pictures here. And you want to make this as effortless as you possibly can. Again, notice her eyes. She looks up, she looks down. I'm telling her when I want the picture taken, but she's actually determining that by the focus, by the fine focus that she can see through the scope. So there's been some comments that the Sony candle, uh, camera handles low level light. Um, you know, this isn't really an issue with any of these newer cameras. Um, I've used the Sony, but it doesn't really make any difference to me. The Canon camera is fine. Uh, these are pictures we shot the other day with a low light situation because you're down on the furcal floor trying to look at texture and color differences uh, in a calcified canal. And if you look at these, you can you have plenty of, of light through the camera to actually see what you need to see. I don't think the Sony camera does this any better than the Canon. Uh, here you can see I'm, I'm looking at the color changes. And on the video, without adjusting the light levels or anything, you can see uh, very, very good with the Canon. And uh, I think the Sony probably is better in low light, but we don't, we're not using low light. Uh, we have plenty of light and these cameras, uh, the Canon or the Sony can function very well. We take, I take a lot of video now uh, through the Canon. Uh, we haven't noticed an overheating problem with it. We have it on for every surgical procedure and for cases like this. And what I like about it is that I can take video and uh, take my still pictures at the same time. You can't have the video on and do still pictures at exactly the same time. Um, but you don't want the video on all the time anyway, because then you end up uh, having to spend a tremendous amount of time editing video. Here we're going in with the Stropco uh, to uh, dry out the canals. And you can see you have plenty of light here. It's well seen uh, on the video. And these are just some stills we took last week in the office, uh, high resolution. and without changing the light levels. We leave the iris uh, about one half to three quarters uh, turned down so you get some depth of field. And we do all of this contemporaneously. There isn't any reason why you can't do this contemporaneously if you're set up correctly.